Okay, so we know that XBMC comes with um, lots of pre-configured video plugins to watch streaming movies from the internet. However, you can also use XBMC to watch video files that you might have on a USB key or a PC uh, that you might have on your home network. I'm going to show you how easy it is to watch these uh, video files from these different sources. On your home screen, if you click on videos, you're confronted with uh, three options. The video add-ons, uh, you already know. Playlists, I'll cover in another video. And we have files, which is the option we want to choose today. If you go ahead and click on files, in here you can see two options. Now the first option is USB disk. That's literally because I've got a USB key plugged into the box. So for watching video files on a USB key, it literally is as simple as going into the files menu. And there it is, there's your USB disk. You can just go into it and you'll see your movies in there and you can go ahead and click on them and they'll start playing. XBMC can read um, a variety of codecs and video formats, so it's very easy for you to watch pretty much anything um, that you have, like MP4s, um, AVIs, uh, DivX, anything on DivX, uh, MKV files for Blu-ray. So it's very, very, uh, very, very neat. Now, say if you've got a video file on a PC at home. So you've got a so you like downloading to a certain folder on your PC, and you want to share these and watch them using your XBMC uh, install. That's very easy to do as well. So if you click on Add Videos, you can see this Add Video Source pop up. The easiest way to do this is to click on Browse. Under the Browse menu. As you can see, there's lots of different options for you to search. I'm using this on a Macintosh just for video, uh, video purposes. But on your MX2 box or your Android box, you'll see something very similar apart from the Macintosh HD, uh, for example. If you want to watch something on a, uh, from a Windows PC, you're going to need to use this option down here, which is the Windows Network uh, and in brackets SMB. Basically what it will use is it will use the SMB protocol to stream from Windows. So if you choose this, this will go out onto your local network and look for um, a Windows uh, work group which pretty much all Windows machines uh, have um, call their local network a work group. As you can see, you can see mine there. So I'm just going to choose that. I'm going to choose my uh, computer and then I can see all the shared drives that I'm sharing um, publicly on my local network. So I'm just going to choose this one here, Movies, and I'm just going to click OK. Now, at the bottom here, it says enter a name for this media source. So I'm just going to call it PC Movies. When I click done, it's going to give me uh, the options to just press OK or cancel. So I'm happy that I've mapped the drive uh, direct to my PC. Obviously your PC needs to be turned on to do this. But once you've done it once, you can then turn your PC off and so forth. And when you turn it back on again, it will be available to see. So I'll show you. So click OK. You're then given uh, another uh, set content window. In here you can set the content to show say it's movies and if the um, if the directory um, current scraper uh, recognizes any of the movies what you can do is you can set it so that it downloads metadata from the internet so you can have video covers and, and biog and IMDB and stuff like that. However I just leave it blank um, just as none so I'm just going to put that back up to none um, I'm just going to leave it blank because I don't really want to have any sort of, you know, video covers or anything showing, but it's there for you to do. So just click OK again, and there you are. There's PC Movies. So that is now a shortcut on your XBMC. That's a shortcut to your PC uh, where you have your video files.
Now you can go ahead and you can turn your PC off and that's fine and that shortcut will stay there. Obviously if you try and access it you won't be able to. However if your PC is turned on you can just come into, into uh, XBMC videos then files and you'll see this PC movie shortcut. If I just click on it now there you go there you can see that shared folder and I can go in uh, choose a movie to watch and it will stream it directly from my PC to XBMC. It's a very very uh, handy little um, extra that XBMC does. Um, you can also add as many shortcuts here as you want. You can go back in and, and, and add some more videos. If there, was somewhere, if there was another drive on your PC that you wanted to add you could just go through the same process and add some more um, locations. I hope this is helpful. Uh, thanks for watching.